All right, so this is a giant acorn. And those are some toes. And those are some buck teeth. And some whiskers. And this, my friends, is a giant squirrel. That's like a, the ball bearing in the eye is like six, six pounds. There's pool balls in it. There's gears, pistons, and Edelbrock air intake, rims, headlights, propane zone. It's just like there's, the list goes on. A stove burner. I'm really going all out here and trying to fill in every old lighter fluid cans, pistons, every nook and cranny on this sculpture. And it's a squirrel. It's a giant squirrel holding an acorn. There's so much more I'm going to do to this. I want to put it on a giant rock and then have like copper, oak, and maple leaves. Like sheet metal that on there and then a couple more acorns. Um, this is it though. There's some moving stuff on here. Like there's a latch. There's a phone that actually like turns. You can pick that up. Uh, jet ski propeller, intake propeller, sprockets, gears. There's like a mirror, typewriter parts, saw blades. There's like so much stuff. There's hand cut all these like pieces of metal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get um, brooms and cut them and, and jam them in there to make it kind of like a bushy squirrel tail. It's got keys hanging on the top right there. So it's about from the ear where the ears are. There's a giant bolt in there, wrenches and pliers. There's a little miniature pot and pan in there, Camaro keychain. Um, so I got commissioned to do this squirrel. So I'm working. I've been working on this. It's about five feet tall, and with the tail, it goes up to about seven feet. So squirrels are pretty small animals. This is this is huge. So this is a project that I'm working on, and it might look kind of done, but it's not. I'm really I got to pressure wash it and clear coat it when it's done. But I have to, there's a lot of welding I still have to do on this. So there's that. Now, that's not all, okay? Over here, another commission. It's, I got, they're taking up all the room in the shop. This started off as a giant four foot diameter. It's big, it weighs 200 pounds, wagon wheel, okay? And what a lot of fabrication and welding. There's these gold painted roses and leaves that I hand made and welded on there. So much time put into those, it's ridiculous. These little baby flowers going all the way across, hooked up the wiring to it, these lights to it, and just like the, and, and I'm not even done. I, I gotta put uh, three black glossy roses up in these corners right here. What, some more leaves coming off of that to fill in the top a little bit. But that's like the just of it, so it's not even really done yet. But hold on, let me show you what it looks like when it's turned on. So you hit this on. And the camera on this is not gonna pick it up as good as it is in person. But these lights have like a flickering effect to them. You can kind of see in the reflection on the wall over there. Um, they look like real flames. Get the focus. There, you kind of can see it. Okay? So it's LED and they look like real flames. So that's what it really kind of looks like in here, but the camera kind of just auto auto focuses and kind of blurs it out a little bit, but you get the you get the idea. Plus the shop is kind of lit up too, so I can see what I'm doing. So I imagine if it's like a dark, it's going in a castle. It's going in Andrew Camarada's castle. If you know who he is on YouTube, check him out and subscribe to Andrew Camarada on YouTube. Um, he's always got a lot of videos, a lot of, a lot of projects and things he's working on, but he has a shipping container castle, and this is going to go in the shipping container castle. And I made it heavy duty, because it's going in a castle, and I forged that hook on there, it's going to have a ha uh, shackle or a big heavy duty chain. It's not 100% done yet, it's got a big pendulum in the center of the wheel. This is a big, big chandelier. It's going to hang up high in the castle. Can't wait to get that in there. Badass roses on it and a remote control. So you hit that button right there, turn it off. Boom. Pretty neat. Um, other things in the shop behind the banner there, the juggernaut. Uh, I've been working on the little giant power hammer that is up and running. It's absolutely awesome. I replaced the uh, one of the front parts on it brand new. 
um, at a state sale. I got a lot more tongs and hammers and horseshoes. I, I scored a bunch of that stuff. Um, another cool thing, it's a bit, like I said, it's been busy. Um, Gooch from Oklahoma pinstriped and painted the front plate on my hydraulic press. Clean slate forge, look at that. How cool is that? So, there's just been a lot of stuff. I've been making, uh, I squeeze underneath the anvil here, making some awesome hammers with the hydraulic press. This one's like a four pound giant forging hammer. And they start off just as blanks like this. I get them from uh, Coal Ironworks themselves and then forge them. And then I got, still gotta heat treat it and put the handle on it. But, ow, I just hit my head. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Low bridge here. Okay, this is a giant chandelier. So I'm trying to get it done quick because it's, it's eating up a lot of room in the shop and I just want to finish it. Get it over to Andrew. And then, uh, of course, the squirrel, this will be here all winter, I think. So I'm really going to take my time on this one. And it's more of a springtime, summertime install. So that's what this one. But let's check out some of the other uh, sculptures. So I have another one I, I got to show you guys. So here is the famous... Oh, we got gooses flying up here. Hog conk. Here's the uh, the horse sculpture, which is totally not done. It's totally not done compared to the squirrel. A lot more filling in on the legs. Camera's not going to focus. It's kind of dark out here. I got the headless horseman riding on it right now. But uh, there's the horse. I'm going to fire that up. Got some solar panel green lights on there. I'm going to fire that up with some flames. Another sculpture I probably haven't showed anybody is this striper fish that I made. It's got a little bobber. A lot of cool little parts and pieces in here. It's got a uh, working fishing reel. Let me get around to the back of this one. Padlock. Horseshoe heart. So this is my striper fish sculpture. Got a fish hook in its mouth. And then over here is the jack, the skeleton. I forged the the hands on it. It's going up, 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 because this this thing, the, the head's a gas can, and he's balancing a snowflake on his fingertip. And this thing stands the head about, mm, 12, 13 feet, and that puts up to like 13-ish, 14-ish feet tall. So this thing is up there, it's huge, it's huge. And why wouldn't it be? Because Jack the Skeleton's a pretty, pretty tall guy. All right, so those are my three sculptures plus the squirrel. There's the horse, I'm gonna fire up the flames and get a shot of that. That's right, folks. It's kind of nighttime-ish and the Fire breathing horse, yes, it's right, breathes fire. The horse sculpture breathes fire. Hook propane up to it. And funny enough, I'm doing the chandelier build for Andrew Camarada. Um, I had a trailer on this concrete slab that Andrew Camarada actually helped demolish for me. And he actually came over when he did that, and I showed him this horse sculpture when I was first starting it. And I couldn't figure out quite how to get the propane to have the flames come out like that. So Andrew actually helped tweak and fix the nozzles on the horse to so it breathes fire like that. So how cool is that? And now, full circle later, I am building him a chandelier for his castle. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. But this horse is far from done. We'll see where it We'll see where it ends up if it finds its uh, forever home in the future. It's got like drum cymbals on it and stuff. But all right, guys. Thought I'd just check in, say hello. Everything is well. Hope you all are well too. And uh, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Like I said, hit that subscribe, like, comment, help me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And check out Andrew Camarada's channel too. Thanks.